Welcome back, folks. In the last episode, we witnessed a trial that would probably be most accurately described with the word absurd. And we, are, we will continue to make absurd moves. Um, Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? Oh, that's the wine cellar. Yeah, remember... Do you remember the locked door? With the strange metal plate that we could not open? Excuse me. Where does the locked door lead to? To the wine cellar. Carlson's the only one who can open it. It's programmed to read his fingerprints. Yeah. So we need... Never mind. So we obviously need his fingerprints. And as you can plainly see, there's a glass. There were greasy fingerprints on the glass. With his fingerprints on them. You can try to take them. Hey! Get your hands off my drink, buster! But that won't work. I need to inspect your wine cellar. Forget it, mister. Yeah. Nobody gets in there but me. Are we playing cards or what? All right. This guy distracted me. That approach also doesn't work, but as you can see, the band stopped playing and we can now operate the jukebox. Hey, music lover. If you're looking for the best in sound, I got them. The music of the spheres right here on Earth. So come on, get your fingers on my buttons. Let's make beautiful music together. How offensive. Indeed. Why they put voices in these machines is beyond me. I'm all warmed up for you, baby. Shut up and let me check the selections. Oh, Lord, it's mostly country and western. Nobody's perfect. Ah, there are three tunes by the resident band. So, what's your choice, big boy? Ah. As a matter of fact, um, of these three songs, only one of them will do the trick, but let's check out also the other two. As cool as you. Do, 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 do. Okay. Um, we're of course trying to distract him, but he doesn't seem very agitated by this song. So let's choose another one. Pressing the button. Uh, the select. Not sure if we have to wait until the music is finished. I think I've, we've heard enough of this, so let's leave and come back. Hopefully the music has now stopped playing. I also wanted to show you the, um, the other tune. Hi there. Oh, shut yeah. up. I just want to choose some music. Without being hassled by a whining Wurlitzer. <laughs> okay. So this didn't work, so let's try Long Beach. Long Beach. Okay. 
This one is actually not so bad. But let's um, play this properly. Of course, the third option um, will have the desired effect. Namely, and by effect I mean to irritate Mr. Colson enough so that he will stop paying attention to his glass. If you can just grab them. Backside, thumbs zip this jukebox can understand me. Yeah, apparently. I can. I performed a body scan when you first made contact. Ugh. I know your blood group, your color size, and your sexual preferences. <laughs> This information has been transmitted to link files. Enjoy your selection. Yeah, guys, this is the That's future. outrageous. I thought such blatant invasion of privacy only yeah. happened in major high street banks. Oh, well, some music will cheer me up. Talking about Google Glass. You search but find That's nothing. That's your future, kids. Yep. Well, maybe it is. If we don't start to act. There were greasy fingers. We just have to wait until Mr. Colson gets upset. Yeah. And now he stands up and we can just quickly grab the glass. So now we have a glass with his fingerprints on him. So it would be very useful if we could somehow get those fingerprints onto our thumbs. Do we know someone who could um, do this? Actually we do. And I give you a hint. It is the doctor. Yes, the doctor will give us new fingerprints. And this we will then use to gain access to the wine cellar. The wine cellar, of course, being an access to the old um, underground train station, which will eventually lead us to a lake. Okay, let's go to Dr. Burke. And he is still busy with his patient. Let's try to talk. Excuse to the man. me. Uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks again for the port, Doc. Can it's a talk? pleasure to do business with you. Can we talk to the man? I have to go now. Nope. Drop by again sometime. Okay then. Um, yeah, let's show the doctor Excuse the glass. Me. Can you match my fingerprints to those on this glass? Yes, I can. Oh, yes. My machine will do that automatically. It's not against the law, is it? Whatever gave you that idea? Don't security use them to check people's identities? If they do, it's the first time I've heard of it. The usual procedure for identification of suspects is a retina scan at the post-mortem. Well, I now, guess it's... about these prints that's, uh, you requested. Uh, Open the panel on my machine and insert the glass. I guess that's the a reliable method, at least. Then place your hands in the autodermatome. Will this hurt, Doc? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Quite yeah. considerably. Yeah, looks like it does hurt. Okay, now we have... Let's thank Dr. Excuse me. for his services. 
Thanks again. For it's yeah. a pleasure. Let's go back to the St. James Club. And, and try to use our new fingerprints on the door. Well, if you can be glad, um, Robert, that you didn't get an eye transplant, but that there's this software which you can use to hack, to bypass the retina scan. Let's go left this time and not be silly and waste too much time going around. <clears throat> okay, let's um, use the metal plate. And open sesame. Yeah. Okay, now uh, we can in some kind of storage room. It's a big box made of wood. It's made of thin chipboard. Hmm. If it's for ventilation, it must lead somewhere. Logical conclusion. It's a solid wooden storage rack for wine bottles. Can we take some wine? I'd never shift that in a thousand years. Nope. That's okay, that's a Um, let's try to... I can't reach it from here. Can okay, I stand on the box? Oh, don't. Okay, um... It's a big... Yeah. That's too big and heavy to carry. Hmm, looks like a puzzle to me. Can we climb on it again? The box isn't strong enough to support me. We have something to fix it. Don't think so. Nope. Doesn't make any sense. Uh, that didn't make any sense either, but... Apparently it does in this video game. That's too big. It's disappointingly empty. Well, too bad, but now we can um, get to the grill and probably remove the screw screws. Too dark to see what's beyond the grill. Uh, are there any screws on it? The grill is too firmly attached to pull from the wall. How about using our trusty old crowbar? I punched. Okay, the grill is too. Um. So we've made a hole. I punctured a hole in the grill. Can we try it again, maybe? Nope. Uh, yeah, I didn't think so. See, we've made a hole in the grill. The grill is too firmly attached. Yeah, um, I will probably have, or hopefully have figured out what to do when we come back, folks. So until next time, folks, until then.